Hello, I'm Ramble Bumblebee, and today I'm going to be showing you a cheap, easy, and fast way to master for YouTube. So, why would a content provider want to do this? First, pull up a video, right click, and click Stats for Nerds. So, over here in the Volume Normalize section, we see some information. The first number is just what our player is set to. The second number tells us if we've been assessed a loudness penalty. If it's 100%, that means that no penalty has been applied or our video is too low in volume. YouTube will not turn up videos, it only turns them down. If the video is below 100%, it means it has turned down our video. The content loudness tells us how far over or how far under we are above YouTube standards. This is what we want to see. The second number at 100% and the content loudness value at zero decibels. If we hit that, it's perfect. If the content loudness is slightly above zero decibels and our second number is just slightly below 100%, that's totally fine. And that's better than the alternative, which is being slightly below on the content loudness. Let's imagine some audio with a lot of compression and limiting. That compression is represented by the yellow. YouTube will turn this down. And the net result is that you have a compressed sound that is not louder than anything else, but it also has more noise than everything else. It just sounds bad. Now imagine a video that's too quiet. YouTube never turns up audio, so you're just destined to forever be too quiet. And that's also terrible. If we have a piece of audio that hasn't been compressed or limited to death, and it's just slightly too loud, YouTube will turn it down and we'll be near perfect. And obviously if we nail it and we get it perfect to YouTube, then that's awesome. That's our goal. So I'm here in my DAW with some audio that's going to be put in a video. So what I want to do is, is I'm going to open up an effects and the first effect is going to be called LU meter by Hornet. I will put a link on the screen for you. The next thing you need to do is you need to add a limiter. There's a free limiter called loud max, which works absolutely excellent. If you use loud max, make sure it's set to ISP. And that's the only thing you need to do. Leave everything at zero. Next, I'm going to go into the LU meter. I'm going to set it to minus 11. Then I'm going to set the peak to off, max peak to off. And now I'm going to hit play with momentary on and I'm just going to play the whole thing. When I'm done, it will have normalized the audio so that it will match YouTube's messed up little thing pretty well. I've tested a lot of things and this setup does it. Auto to momentary, max peak off, and minus 11 loops reference. It will automatically set the gain for you. Then you render, upload, and let's see what happens. So this is the audio that I've uploaded and we can see that I'm at 91% and I was about 0.8 decibels over the limit. That is actually just about perfect. We could be a little bit closer, but you can't really ask for more than that. Just being a, turned down a tiny bit is exactly what we want. There is a caveat here. The audio must be relatively relatively level. So in this audio here, you can see I have a big spike. What I would want to do is put on a compressor so that these larger spikes make the gain reduction meter move, but the normal level of audio does not. So I'm going to do that real quick and then we'll try the trick and we'll see what happens with and without. So right now when I play this, this big spike makes the gain reduction move. But when I get over to the normal audio, not much happens, maybe just a tiny little bit. And the compressor settings don't matter too much. You're gonna want a fast attack and a relatively slow release. So if I hop on over to YouTube and we look at the one where I compress the signal, we can see that we're at 100% and we were about 0.3 decibels away from being perfect. Without the compressor, we were 15.4 decibels away. So our speaking will be incredibly low because of that spike that made everything get turned down. So as long as your audio is relatively level and there's no big giant spikes, you can use this method and get nearly perfect YouTube audio every time. Momentary on the LU meter, minus 11, turn the max peaks off, run your audio or at least the loudest part, Make sure it's going into a limiter, and that's it. You're set. Render, send it off. 
Check your video, of course, using the Stats for Nerds before you make it go public. And if you notice any problems, then you may have some audio that's a little bit more dynamic than it necessarily should be. But for most things like intelligible speech or music from these days, it this works perfectly. It's fast. LU meter costs five dollars. It goes on sale frequently. Loud Max is totally free. And uh that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Go to AdmiralBumblebee.com where I have a text version of this article. Patreon.com slash AdmiralBumblebee where you can support me because I spent a lot of time on this content. And uh, thank you.